Hello, it is good to be with you today. Look, I found some beautiful rocks. I think they're almost like sea glass. They've been tossed and turned and have gone from being broken glass into something beautiful and smooth. And, and well, when I see colors like this, it really makes me happy. So I thought I would bring those to have with us for our prayer time this morning. We've also lit our candle today. Our candle is here to remind us we are connected as a church family, to remind us that we are part of Jesus' family, and that Jesus is the one who showed us every day how it is we live in God's way. As we pray today, I invite you to think, maybe you're looking at these colors, of the most beautiful rainbow in the sky you have ever seen right with its red orange yellow green blue purple all those beautiful colors and let's pray as we remember this oh god sometimes we don't like it when the rain pours down and black clouds are piled up high and the roof gutters are overflowing but when the rain stops and through the window, when we see a beautiful rainbow stretched across the sky, our spirits lighten and we are cheered. We remember that when Noah and his family and all the animals stepped out of the ark, you placed a rainbow in the sky. And it was for them a sign of God's promise for the whole world. God, we need rainbows. At times we might feel worried about ourselves or for someone in our family or something going on in the world. But help us to see the rainbow as your sign of hope. Raise our spirits. Help us to do our part and to remind us of your rainbow promise of love. May our lives be a rainbow sign for others who also might need that promise of hope and love. Amen. Done. Hello, and welcome back to Sunday School, and welcome to Storytime. This week, and for the next three weeks, we're going to be looking at the story of Noah. You remember the story of Noah, don't you? The story about a man who built an ark to save his family and all the animals of the world. Today I'll be reading from the Spark Story Bible, so if you have one at home, you can follow along. It's on page 20 that the story starts. Let's read our story. A long time passed since God created the world. People forgot about God, except for one man. His name was Noah. He loved and obeyed God. I am very sad that people have forgotten about me, God said to Noah. I'm going to bring rain to flood the earth, lots and lots of rain. Build yourself a huge boat out of cypress wood. Noah did just what God said and made a big, big boat with lots of rooms. Noah was 600 years old when he entered the boat with his wife, their sons, and their son's wives. God brought two of every kind of animal to the boat. Elephants and zebras, lions and tigers, pigs and giraffes, dogs and cats, deer and rhinos, bears and cows, horses and goats, lambs and monkeys, all came two by two. All different kinds of animals, birds and creepy, crawly things came to the boat. Noah took all of them into the boat. Then the door shut behind them. Inside the big boat, the lions roared, the dogs barked, and the birds chirped. It was stuffy and stinky. It was muggy and hot. On the outside, it rained and rained and rained. It rained big, giant drops, and little baby drops for 40 days and forty nights. The rains came down and the flood waters came up. The water splashed on the side of the big boat and pushed it up and down for a hundred and fifty days. Finally, 
It rested on the top of a tall mountain. Noah waited and waited until God said to him, Come out of the boat, you and your wife and your sons and their wives. Noah's family and all the animals came off the boat. They put their feet on dry land. They ran and skipped and jumped. They twirled and danced in the sunlight. They thanked God for the land, and God blessed them. Noah's family grew and grew. The animals and the birds and the creepy crawly things filled the earth again. God painted a rainbow of brilliant red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and violet across the sky and promised, I will never, I will never again flood the earth. Whenever you see the rainbow in the clouds, I will see it too, and I will remember. That's a good story. What would you have thought if God asked you to make a boat? That's a pretty big thing to ask. We're going to explore it over the next three weeks. Thanks for hanging out at Storytime today. We'll see you soon. Bye. Hi friends. I'm here in one of my favorite rooms at Woodcliffe United Church. It's got a rainbow wall and it's perfect for today's story because we're learning all about Noah and I have a special rainbow craft I want to share with you today. So you're going to need a couple supplies. You're going to need some tape, scissors, an adult to supervise you if you don't feel comfortable using scissors on your own, a marker, some white paper, probably two pieces is best, two pieces of white paper, and some colored paper. I have some options for you. You might not have colored paper at home. I was lucky enough to find all of the colors here, red, orange, yellow, green, blue, and don't forget there's purple too. I have all the colors in front of me. You're gonna need small strips of them that look that are about this long. We'll talk about those in a second. If you don't have colored paper, it's pretty easy for you to take that white piece of paper and some markers and color in a strip of each piece and then you'll be able to cut those out and use those too. So first thing you need is a blank piece of paper. I'll go through and do this a little bit quickly and then you can do it after, okay? And we're gonna start with our red strip of paper. We are making a 3D rainbow craft today. So my red strip of paper needs to be my shortest one. So I'm gonna work from shortest to longest. So I'm gonna make this one about five inches long. You can guesstimate, it doesn't matter. It'll be perfect just the way it is. And then I fold down little edges on each side like that. And then I'm gonna stick it to my piece of paper just like an upside down U. Do you see that? Pretty neat. I've already ripped my tape. Thinking ahead. You might need three fingers to do this one. So you might need to ask a grown up or a brother or sister to help you. Okay, there's red. I'm gonna do orange. I want orange to be about five and a half inches long or just a little bit longer than red was gonna sit on top just like that. So I'm gonna fold over my edges again, little flap on this side, little flap on this side, and tape it down. I want there to be a little bit of an air gap in between the color layers. Do you see that? Neat, hey? I'm gonna turn it to the side a bit. And you're just gonna set it right over top of the red one. Just like that. Red, orange, what color's next? Yellow, you're right. Yellow needs to be about half an inch longer. This one's way too long. See what happens if I make it way too long? I'm gonna sneak it shorter, about six inches long. Fold down my edges, repeat the same steps over and over and over again, seven times. We go. There's yellow. Hope I made enough tape. Of 
What color's next? Green, that's right. I think my green is long enough the way that it is. I'd already made that one from a shorter piece of paper. There we go. Fold and fold. Perfect. Perfectly imperfect. That's my kind of perfect. Okay, next is blue. I'm gonna need to shorten blue a bit, I guess. Yep. This one should be about seven inches long. This is looking so cool. I think you guys are gonna love this one. So God sent Noah a rainbow as a promise that he would always love and take care of us. Purple. Okay, that one's about seven and a half inches long or just a little bit longer than blue. <laughs> Friends, this looks really neat. I hope you make one of these because you'll just love it. There's our rainbow. I also cut out some clouds from my extra piece of white paper. So on my clouds, I'm gonna write, God keeps promises. Remember, God sent the rainbow as a promise to Noah. And then on my other one I made too, I'm gonna write, God loves us. And then I did the same thing with my, with my clouds. I folded over a little edge. Do you see how I did that? And I have another piece of tape here. I'm gonna add it right in front to cover up the edges of my rainbow. There we go. Do the same thing on this cloud. Oops. How fun is this craft? Oh, I know you're gonna love it. So there we go. We have a 3D rainbow paper craft reminding us that God, our mother, father, loves us always. Hope you have a fantastic week. See you soon.